Happy Monday, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Legendary. I'm your host today. Dave is out enjoying the last few moments with his daughter on their daddy-daughter weekend trip, which is amazing. So I get to be here and have this privilege to bring another phenomenal guest who I'm so excited for you all to meet. I know she's a little nervous, so give her some love in the comments. Show some heart emojis. Let's let's get her pumped up because um, she has a beautiful story to share, and I'm super excited for you all to meet her. But before I bring her on, please, if you are new to the show, new to our community, new to to legendary in any way shape or form and you would like to get notified when we go live with our wake up legendary monday through friday you can text the letters wul to 813-296-8553 all right guys give me in those comments let's let's get some love going for Brittany. Let me see some heart emojis. Let's wake up. Let's get pumped for the week. Let's get excited. Give me something here. <laughs> All right. And without further ado, please welcome Brittany to the show. Good morning, Brittany. Hey, good morning. How are you? So share with all of us a little bit about where are you calling from first? Um, I'm from Georgia, middle okay. Georgia. I can hear the the southern <laughs> accent. I, I I can hear that. You know, it, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love the South. <laughs> it, the more I talk, the slower it may get. So <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I love it. So share with all of us how what what were you doing to where you found legendary? What was going on in your life and all of that. So um, I'm a pharmacist and I was um, diagnosed with a chronic illness. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I can't think of my words. I was diagnosed with a chronic illness. And so um, I started working from home and I am now a drug information pharmacist. And I love that job. However, I, we just needed some extra income. Um, yeah. And one day I was on TikTok and I saw mom and she was talking about how she was going to be able to quit her nine to five so she could stay at home with her child. And so I thought, you know, this would be the perfect opportunity for people who, who have chronic illnesses, who can't work outside of the home or who um, don't qualify for disability or disability doesn't pay their bills. You know, this would be something perfect that if they're looking for a job or a side hustle or whatever it is, mm -hmm. that this will be perfect for them. Yeah, it just, it gives you that flexibility. Well, first and foremost, thank you for sharing that you are dealing mm -hmm. with a chronic illness. I know in your questionnaire, and I, I, I know the struggle personally, what it's like to go through. I think you said it was a decade until you were diagnosed. Um, mm -hmm. That's a lot of stress. That's a lot yes. of pain. That's a lot of um, dealing with people questioning you. From 2013 okay. until 2021, I've been to every type of doctor that there is. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, in 2021, I was I got a diagnosis. And um, it's become more prevalent. I have POTS, which is posterior mm -hmm. orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And since the pandemic, more people are presenting with those symptoms now. So what's finally starting to come to light um, and people are starting to do research on it before that, nobody really knew anything about it. Wow. Yeah, definitely. And coming into this allows you that flexibility you need in your day, mm -hmm. right? Of when you need to prioritize rest when you can, when you have a little bit more energy to be able to put it into your, your business, mm -hmm. into your family, into your mm -hmm. kids and really design the day, how you need it to be. Exactly. Because sometimes my body works better in the evening than it does in the mornings. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once the kids are in bed, then that kind of starts my work day. Um, when it comes to 
my legendary marketing. So um, my brain just seems more fresh at night. I know that sounds yeah. weird, but, <laughs> but, but it, uh, um, you know, I just do my better work at night. And that's what works for you. And what a beautiful thing to be able to find that out. Like, this is when I can perform. Mm -hmm. This is when I can put a little more energy into it. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't matter to anybody else what time of day it is. If it works for you and you mm -hmm. can do it, that's all that matters. And, and going down this path allows you that choice, which is so mm -hmm. cool to mm -hmm. really design the day and the life that you need it to be. Mm -hmm. Um, for those, I mean, ultimately for those that have some autoimmune, uh, there, there's only, you can't rest to gain more energy, right? There's, you get, say, we'll say you get 10 spoons. This is the analogy I once heard, right? You get 10 <laughs> spoons for the day, but once you use one, you can't rest and get that spoon back It's done. So you have to be very thoughtful of your day, mm -hmm. very thoughtful of your energy and how you exactly. use it, right? Exactly. And a nine to five job is not so thoughtful of that. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, when you're looking at your budget and you see that you just need to stretch that paycheck a little bit more, mm -hmm. just that simple amount of stress can cause a flare. You know, any, any kind of stress can cause a flare, but, you know, I don't, I've made a promise to myself. I'm not going to let money, um, issues be a reason that I have flares anymore. I'm going, you know, when I found legendary, I decided I was going to put my head down. I was going to do the work and I was going to make it. I just had to make myself have to have a positive attitude about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I knew nobody was going to come in here and pay all my medical bills off right. um, for me. So, you know, I had to do it. I had to hit the ground running. And so this was perfect because I can even do this from my bed if I have to, mm -hmm. you know, days that, um, that aren't great. Yeah. And what a beautiful testament to the mindset. It doesn't, it just doesn't matter what anyone is going through. You have to decide you're going to put your head down. You're not going to compare to anyone else's day 52 on your day one. Mm -hmm. you got to figure out what works for you to keep going. Right. Whatever that is. And it just doesn't matter what it is, as long as you can do something each day in some form or fashion for you, it's at night and it may be from bed. Awesome. Freaking go kill it. I love it. <laughs> but you're still doing something. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I would assume and definitely chime in doing that and having that also helps your self-esteem, your self-confidence that you feel a little more purpose. That's exactly what I was about to say. I, I feel like, um, you know, once I found this, I felt almost like a, I didn't want to gatekeep it from, you know, my chronically ill friends because I felt mm -hmm. like this was just such a huge blessing for all of us. Um, and I just wanted to go in, learn as much as I could, help others um, who might be in the same situation I am that I am in or was in and um, you know just it, being sick is expensive yeah. and and so um, a lot of people who have chronic illnesses you know deal with the medical bills and the the creditors and all that stuff and so um, I just I felt a passion towards you know, teaching people to learn a skill mm -hmm. to make more money so they could pay those bills because they're, you know, raises at their job that wasn't going to get it. And if they couldn't work um, outside of the home, then they might not be able to pay for those. And I just felt like this was something that um, this community could, could do. And um, it made me feel like I had a purpose again because there for a while I was, I was struggling. <laughs> um, yeah. I went from, you know, healthy and um, I worked in the hospital setting for 12 years and um, 
so just my change of lifestyle you know I, I kind of felt like I was losing myself a little bit mm -hmm. and um this just gave me pur purpose and so I said in one of my videos I was like if I'm just sitting here talking to myself it you know at least this is helping me because <laughs> because mm -hmm. I'm you know able to discuss it and you know if I can help just one person then that's all that that's all that matters yeah you know there's there is a point where especially with I like to say <laughs> invisible diseases right it's not mm -hmm. Somebody across the room can't identify immediately right. that there's an issue, right? Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a lot to carry. There's a lot of weight usually. And there's a, a lot of, not necessarily, not like a pity party. And I don't want it to sound mm -hmm. like that. But it, there's a lot of, this has ended. This is a big change. No one can mm -hmm. see that I'm, I'm in this change. And mm -hmm. then you feel kind of stuck. Like, is this mm -hmm. my life now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I love that you found a way to go, you know what? Yep. I'm not the same person that I was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. but I'm this new awesome person and I'm going to do things differently. Mm -hmm. I, and I have tried, you know, other side gigs, I guess you would call mm -hmm. them. You know, I've done MLMs, I've um, sold things on Etsy, I've made things, I've drop shipped, I've done all of that stuff and um even some of those things are just a little bit too physical for my condition and so um this like I said when God well, I feel like when God sent me this um you know that was his way of saying this is something that you can do and um if and like I said earlier if I can help just one other person who feels like you know, their life is over, they can't pay their bills because they're sick, then if I can just help that one person, then it will, will all be worth it. Yeah, definitely. What it, I mean, and it, I love your, your, even your social handle, walk in purpose. And that's what it is. It's really whether we all have difficulties in life, some are bigger than others. Some are more involved than others. But there's still a choice that to make of today's a new day. And I'm not going to look back and, and wish I had that version of me. I'm going to embrace the new version of me today and looking right. forward. Right. And, and allow that change to happen. Allow that different day-to-day -day lifestyle happen that works for you in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even my kids and my husband have said, you know, you get up, it gives me a reason to get up and, you know, fix my hair, put on some makeup, you know, not just lounge in my pajamas all day working, you know, on the computer. Mm -hmm. Like it gives me a reason to get up and want to um, feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that that's really helped a lot with my self-esteem and the stress and the all of the other stuff that goes with having autoimmune diseases and chronic illnesses. Yeah, definitely. And to have something that just gives you a reason to wake up instead of focusing on the pain, focusing on the 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 feeling, the the dread, but focus, you know, switching your your focus to something that is giving, is positive, mm -hmm. is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, in the long run is a great thing, <laughs> right? And I imagine your kids see that drive a little bit more too. Like it doesn't matter what's happening in life. You just keep going, mm -hmm. figure out a new way. Mm -hmm. and, and that's okay. And it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. and, and they have already start asking when they can you know <laughs> well when can I start doing that because <laughs> you know they're both um they're great kids and they've helped me through this they've even made um you know TikToks for me when I was sick and in the bed mm -hmm. you know they'll they'll make one and say mom's sick today but I'm gonna make this for her so um that 
you know, they just, they've been so supportive and they know that this is um, something that has truly kind of a spark back um, in me. It's just, it's, it's just brought a lot of life back into, into something that I have lost. Right. Which I'm assuming would also bring a little more light and life back into your whole family life too. Yes, exactly. Which is cool. And what, on, on above all of this, yes, we're here to make money. We're here to have a mm-hmm. long lasting business and making money is a part of that. But there's so much more that mm-hmm. is gained from going through this process. There's so much more benefits, side benefits, <laughs> bigger goals that are achieved within a lifestyle, within mindset, with, with your kids, with family, um, that I think people overlook. And when you can make those the main focus, the money will come. Mm-hmm. It will come. Mm-hmm. When we're so focused on, I got to make $62 million in 20 days, it's like, it's not going to come, guys. Right. <laughs> but when we can look at it differently right, and really focus on a different space. And I love that your kids are getting involved because they see mm-hmm. what this does for you, for them and, and the bigger picture. And that's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there, you know, there have been a couple of um, videos that I just, I want to be my authentic self in all of mm-hmm. my videos. And so um, I may mess up. I may stumble over my words. I have brain fog from my pots, (laughs) you know, I may forget what I'm talking about in the middle of it, but, um, you know, when it comes down to it, I just, I feel like the, the bigger purpose of all of this is, um, you know, to teach my kids that it's not all about money Mm -hmm. and to teach my kids that it's not always about the new shiny object syndrome, but to be kind to other people and to help other people. And so even if, you know, I may be in need of the extra income because of medical bills, there's someone out there who also needs that. I'm not the only one. And Mm -hmm. so um, I want to open their eyes to that and let them see that, you know, um, there's a lot of us out there. You know, I'm not the only one who... um, who's sick, who has a chronic illness. Mm -hmm. And um, it's hard to to teach them that because you tend to stay in your own little bubble, you know. But once I have started this and I have found a community in um, TikTok and, um, you know, my kids just see the difference and and my husband sees the difference and, um, it's just been, I, I don't know how else to explain it, except it's just been a blessing. Yeah. It, there's just, as you make a decision that quitting's not an option, mm-hmm. no matter what that looks like, it doesn't mean you're going to put in 12 hours each day into your business. If you have 30 minutes a day, you put in 30 minutes a day, but you just keep going. You keep showing up. You keep showing up consistently. Right. Um, so much more changes in our lives in our in how we feel about ourselves mm-hmm. which is what's really cool yeah and you mentioned um you know the consistency mm-hmm. both of my kids play travel sports um, and so um you know i want to lead by example even even though that you know they know that i have a chronic illness and, you know, I'm not going to be able to get out on the baseball field and practice with my son or the soccer field mm-hmm. and practice with my daughter. But mm-hmm. they see that I've committed myself to something. I made a commitment when I started this. Mm-hmm. And I made it to myself. I made the commitment to myself that I was going to do this every single day and I wasn't going to miss a day. And, um, you know, they'll hold me accountable in a heartbeat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> they'll say have you have you made sure have you posted today how many um videos have you posted today what have you talked about today mm-hmm. you know they're they're quick to hold me accountable because right. they know that i made that commitment and mm-hmm. so um they know i hold them accountable so they hold me accountable and it's it's just kind of a cool thing that um you know mm-hmm. 
to hear them say stuff like that. It's just, it makes me feel proud. Yeah, because um, this will this will carry on to so many parts of their life in the future too. Like this is how you want them to view and keep moving through life and, and make decisions and then raise their own kids and pass on the, these types of qualities, these this type of mindset. Mm -hmm. um, and it's starting with you all because you wanted to have a little more purpose in your life and find something positive to focus on in your day instead of just being stuck in the, the illness. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's lonely when yeah. you um, have a chronic illness and nobody really understands. They try to understand and, I, you know, I, my, I love my family. I love my friends and they do try their best to understand. But if you haven't walked in those shoes, it's really hard mm -hmm. to really know um, what it feels like. And it's hard to describe what it feels like. Yeah. And so um, it, it's just to see everybody support me do this because they finally see that, you know, I'm doing something for myself again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my whole family has been just over the moon, um, you know, excited for me and proud for me. And um, they know that my goal is to help other people too. Oh, I love that. I love that you have such a, a amazing group of support. Because I, I think even, I, I, you know, I've seen some where some families are like, oh, you just, you know, stay the victim, go rest more, you'll feel better. No, I won't feel better if I rest more, <laughs> but, you know, and they're just, they never find, never can fully see it or grasp it or allow mm -hmm. you the space that you need to thrive. Right. And, you know, it, it's funny because things that, um, my husband tells me I'm notorious for starting things and then not sticking with them. But, um, you know, he, he, know, he knows that this is different. So, um, you know, I had some new, uh, equipment come in, like just a ring light and a few other things just so when I make my videos, they're clear. Yeah. And, um, sorry, I have to catch my breath. Yeah. Um, you're good. <laughs> it's pot symptoms. Um, but, you know, he took it, he put it together, he figured out how it worked, he showed me how it worked, and, you know, he has been there, Megan, does that, is it still working, you know, did that work, and, mm -hmm. you know, he's just been so helpful with all that kind of techie type stuff that I don't know anything about, yeah. um, but all of them have been supportive in their own way, and it has, um, it, it's just blown my mind because after being sick for so long, you do get down and people do get tired of hearing, I don't feel good. And um, I get tired of saying, I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And so um, sometimes I can get on here and I can make a video that might resonate with someone else who's kind of in the same situation that I'm in mm -hmm. physically at that moment. And it might be what they need to hear because they do understand what it's like yeah. going through. And, um, you know, like I said, I just feel like there are so many people who are, for, I don't want to say forgotten about, but there are so many people who have chronic illnesses who, like I said, ha have to work at home. Work yeah. from home jobs are hard to find. Um, especially for a pharmacist. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can imagine that, yes. You know, um, disability doesn't pay all of the bills. Um, mm -hmm. But most of the people I've met on TikTok are the strongest warriors that, I mean, they teach me so much every single day. Like, I get on here to make you know, videos to try to help them and they end up helping me because they're just warriors. They're just out there and they're fighting and they're not giving up. And um, so it's, it's just been a blessing financially and a blessing spiritually and emotionally for me because I've kind of, 
I feel like I found my people, you know, like yeah, totally. <laughs> that makes sense. Which is huge. I mean, community is huge. We we over we sometimes overlook it. And if you get into the wrong community or a group of people where they're all Debbie Downers and they're they're living in the negative side, um, it's easy to fall into that or to, or to feel like that's that's it. This is all I have. I'm now stuck in this. But if you can find the warriors, the badasses that are freaking <laughs> handling it and figuring out a way and understand fully what you're going through. Mm -hmm. um, find your people. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it makes it even easier. Mm -hmm. it, it makes it more enjoyable. How about that? There's right. never an easy button. It makes it, mm -hmm. it just is a little bit easier to keep showing up yes. on the hard days. Yes. And you know, and it, it, it's all, it's funny because sometimes I'll, I'll just open up the app to start my content or whatever. And the very first video I see will be someone encouraging um, the, you know, whoever's watching their page, you know, mm -hmm. like, hey, I see you today. I know you're struggling today. Um, you know, and it always seems like those days that I need that encouragement, those are the, mm -hmm. that's the type of stuff that's on my For You page. And so um, that keeps me going too. And it just, um, like I said, this is, it's just, sometimes I want to shout it from the rooftops that, you know, that this is not just about, um, the money, which is gr why I initially, you know, started, but it's become so much more than that. It's mm -hmm. now it's just, it's, it's more of a purpose of trying to help other people as well, um, or go on this journey with other people. Yeah, definitely. So how did you, when you first went into the challenge, because I know we have a lot that are really relating to your story and they're at the beginning of the journey mm -hmm. um, and figuring out how to juggle it all. Mm -hmm. How did you, how did you, because we now have, we got videos, I got this challenge, it's all new information, I got tech to learn. Mm -hmm. How did you juggle knowing that you, you only can have a certain amount each day, you need to control your stress level, you need mm -hmm. to control the overwhelm more so than some others do that go through the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, how did you navigate that? Um really honestly i knew if it was a good day i would get as much done as i could mm -hmm. because um you never know when there's going to be a bad day so yeah. if i feel good today i might batch content or you know send out my emails or something like that today while i feel good because tomorrow i might be in bed and not mm -hmm. able to do as much and so um it's a fine balance between, um, yeah. between doing enough and doing too much because right. if I push myself too hard. Then sometimes that causes, um, health issues as well. But, um, yeah, it's just finding that balance between just enough and too much. Not trying to race with somebody else. Right. And that's and one of the things, um, as far as, you know, social media, I've tried a lot to stop scrolling through um, other people's social media mm -hmm. because um, it, it's discouraging when you see someone who's like, I made X amount of dollars in this week, you know, and that might not be the typical amount that most mm -hmm. people make, mm -hmm. or at least what you know where i am starting out mm -hmm. um so you know i just it, I, I don't want to compare myself to them because i don't want that to discourage me because comparison is just the thief of joy and you know i found joy in this and i don't want that taken away yeah I fully believe, but we actually had a parenting coach who went into the, the parenting niche mm -hmm. and she said for the first six months, she unfollowed and removed everybody that was in the same niche that she was previously like following just so mm -hmm. she could stay 
focused on her business and the direction mm -hmm. she wanted to build her business in instead mm -hmm. of being influenced mindset content anything by anyone else and i loved that advice mm -hmm. um go change your algorithm you can make it anything you want i know at one point i i was like on facebook i'm like unfollow 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 and completely change what my algorithm looked like <laughs> um you have control over that they're going to suggest things but you can just keep telling them nope take a week every time you log in and say you don't want to follow this anymore you want to follow this instead um, mm -hmm. and your algorithm will change for you um, and it's a, it's a beautiful way to take control and ownership of what mm -hmm. you're going to put out Right. So and when I'm worrying about it, anyone else, when I first got started, you know, I was, I was going through other creators, TikToks and mm -hmm. almost trying to mimic those. I'm like, well, if that worked for her, then that I'm doing the same exact thing. Why am I not getting the same result? Mm -hmm. Well, because my audience isn't the same as that person who posted that video and so it's taken me a while to kind of shift gears and know um what works best for my audience mm -hmm. not works not what works best for somebody else's audience they may have a viral video and I could make the same exact video but it might get 20 views you know right. because that's not my my audience that I'm well with. and they're at a different stage of their marketing strategy and mm -hmm. that's what people forget it's not just a video it's mm -hmm. what did you grow what are where where in the journey are your followers at with you as mm -hmm. well um you know there's a lot of people out there with a lot of followers who've been following them and haven't taken action in nine mm -hmm. months ten months mm -hmm. so their content may be geared of hey like let's go Get off the fence and jump in finally. Yeah. And that's not going to work for somebody in a growth stage of an account that's new, that's still finding your people and finding your audience and, and growing trust. There's mm -hmm. a there's a different stage. So the content is automatically going to be different. It's going to be delivered differently. Um, the social media platform has a different relationship with somebody that's been on there a while than somebody mm -hmm. with a new account. You got to go trust with them too, mm -hmm. that you're not going to be scammy and scummy and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, it, it, there aren't the same rules across the board. Right. And, you know, I start a lot of my videos with, um, you know, I'm just a hot mess mama. I'm nobody, I'm nobody special. You know, I'm just a hot mess who lives in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, but um you know, they have no reason to listen to me or believe me, you know, I have to earn that trust. Yeah. And so that's what I've been trying to do, especially over the last um, month or so, I've kind of changed my tactics of my videos and stopped trying to mimic other people's videos and just been myself and told my story and, um, that's when I really started to see growth um, yeah. is, is when I stopped trying to be somebody else, trying to be somebody I'm not. And um, just let everybody see that I'm just a hot mess. <laughs> um, and, you know, I have two teenagers that are busy and, you know, my husband's busy and my family is, um, they're supportive, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, our life can be crazy sometimes. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, like I was saying earlier with my um, illness and my job situation, um, I do have um, a non-traditional nine to five, which I'm so grateful for because they work with me. Um, but I never know when my body's going to give out. And that's kind of a scary thing. Yeah. Um and so that was one of the, that was one of the reasons I started, but that's not the reason I've stayed. The reason I've stayed is because, um, you know, the people who are at the part that are just starting, I want them to see that, you know, you can get to a different stage if you stay consistent. 
Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and I stayed because I knew that I could do it. I just had to be dedicated and be consistent. And I made a promise to myself that I was going to do this and I was going to be successful at this because, um, you know, I, I need that in my life right now yeah. with, um, with my chronic illness, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know how to explain it other than it's just been a very eye opening journey mm -hmm. of, um, how everyone else sees the world too, because, mm -hmm. you know, some people may look at me today and be like, well, you don't look sick, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I'm probably going to put my PJs on and crawl back in bed after, right. after we finish. Right. But, but, you know, there are so many of us and, and it's not just POTS. It's people with, you know, people have MS, they have autoimmune mm -hmm. um, diseases mm -hmm. and that those things are not easy to live with. Yeah. And, um, and I just feel like any encouragement and any type of bond that I can create with someone um, through my TikToks or wherever, um, if I create that bond and I can get their trust and they know that I'm one of them, I'm not just, you know, someone who's sitting on the sidelines watching, I'm, I'm one of them. Um, that that's mainly what I want. I want them to know that I'm going along on this journey with them and I'm not going to just let them float away. I'm going to go, you know, grab them and take them along with me. Um, mm -hmm. because everybody deserves, you know, a chance to make a better life for themselves. And yeah. I think, um, a lot of times that's people with disabilities were told that, you know, that's it. You know, your life is pretty much owned by that disability. Right. But, Done. But yeah, but that's yeah. so not true. Mm -hmm. The begin that disability could be the beginning of the best chapter of your life. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's what I really want to share um, through my videos. I really want that to come through. Um, and as far as, you know, my purpose, you know, I feel like we're all put on earth for a purpose and sometimes we go through struggles so later on someone else might be going through the same struggle we had already gone through and yeah. we can go back and help them when they if they're at that point and so i feel like that's where the purpose comes in yeah yeah definitely i mean this is this is so, I, I hope everyone in the comments really understands. I mean, I know the people that are in this and feel and relate to you really, this is just motivating for everyone, whether you have an autoimmune disease or not, there's always a struggle and there's always somebody with freaking judgment. Yes. And you have to move past it. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to go, nope, I'm not listening to your judgment. And mm -hmm. with autoimmune disease, that judgment is heavy. There's mm -hmm. a lot of, you're just lazy. Yes. Just no, rest I mean, more. You don't, you don't want to get better because you look fine. You're dramatic, right. right? These are all things that are heard. And when you can find a community of people that understand, you know, that's, that's not what this is. Mm -hmm. And I need to be around others. And, and there's a way out. There's a way mm -hmm. to thrive through that. Mm -hmm. what an amazing gift that you're sharing and it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I just, um, you can't ignore it away each day. Yeah. Here. I like, well, you know, I, it's like, uh, I got stuck reading the comments. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they were asking, um, like what my niche is though. And, um, I, it's a wealth niche, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for people who look, look, like me and feel like me um because on the outside we may look okay but on the inside we're not you know and so um they you know we deserve to live a life 
beyond not beyond our means that's not what i'm trying to say but mm -hmm. we we can live a life that um normal people i guess can live mm -hmm. and um we can do you know we can do that from anywhere anytime and um you know it's just it, the good days outweigh the bad and we have to remember that that we have all experienced bad days but we've all made through made it through a hundred percent of our bad days. Mm -hmm. And so on those bad days, um, you know, I don't want to, uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I have pots burning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so on those bad days, if we can look back and say, okay, tomorrow's another day then tomorrow I might feel better. And, um, you know, we just have to take it day by day. And, um, and like I said, and the wealth niche is because so many people with disabilities can't work, can't work outside of the home, um, can't get disability, like I was saying earlier. So that's why I feel like this was just the perfect opportunity for this community to, um, to find a, a purpose of their own and a way to make income to take care of their family because just because you're sick the bills don't stop coming in yeah definitely and your life doesn't end right it right. doesn't end it doesn't have to there's still more out there there's still more to do and, it, and i think it there is a lesson in for all of us to remember to uh, give ourselves grace. We give other we give others grace before we give ourselves grace. Yes, exactly. And mm -hmm. there's so many times that I have, you know, tried to just push through and push through. And um, you know, sometimes there's just no no more push left. And so, you know, you just have to kind of know your boundaries and um know how much time you can devote to each thing what mm -hmm. time especially like with pots um i have really bad in insomnia so i might be up working at three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. but at 10 o'clock in the morning i'm tired <laughs> you right. know it's time to go to sleep for a little yeah. bit. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> and so um, our lives are just everybody who has a chronic illness, their story is different. But I don't want the end result for any of us to be that we didn't make we could we could not make enough money to support our families or we could not. Um, you know, we lose things because we don't have the money to take care of our families or we can't go do something fun because we don't have the money because we're stuck at home and can't work. And, yeah. you know, I, I just, there's just so many things that's in the, in the chronically ill community that people don't realize that I didn't even realize that I'm a part of it. Um, you know, I don't know. I just feel like this is one of those things that, you know, God sent to me at just the right time when I needed it. And um, I hope that someone else hears, hears about it at just the time that they need it as well. Yeah. I love your bravery for sharing. Cause Thank I think you. a lot in, in the chronic illness community, are scared to share or, mm -hmm. or it's very, there's a lot of fear because of judgment. Yes. And you stepping forward and being a voice of understanding of compassion, mm -hmm. um, is beautiful and it's beautiful to the community. It's beautiful to everyone that follows you. And I'm, sh I know already you've made a difference in more than one person's life. <laughs> I think you've let many people that are alive with us right now just view things a little bit differently, whether they have a chronic illness or not. 
there is a mindset that is involved with starting your own business. There mm -hmm. is fear to overcome. There is worry of judgment, regardless of what you have going on in your life. Everyone has some of these struggles. They just vary in, in intensity, but they're still present. Mm -hmm. And there's still a decision to just keep going mm -hmm. each day. And, and that's one of the hardest things is um, making sure that you try to keep going every day because there are days that I'm going to pull the covers over my head and say, I'm not making content. I'm not sending out my emails. I'm not reaching out to my new leads. I'm not doing, you know, any of that because I just don't feel good. And then I remember, you know, the promise I made not only to myself, but to other people, you know, with chronic illnesses, because there aren't that many people who advocate for us. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell people all the time, you know, who ask me about my POTS and my, uh, I have a couple of other autoimmune things going on, you know, how did you get diagnosed or how did this or how did that? You have to be an advocate for yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, so I kind of feel like with our finances, we also have to advocate for ourselves. So um, mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier, nobody's going to come magically pay all of our medical bills off. Um, just like our illness is not magically just going to go away. Um, so we have to advocate for ourselves in, in both of those types of situations. And, um, you know, like I said, if I can just help one person, um, and it might not even be anything to do with finances, even though that I'm in the wealth niche. Um, if I could just help one person say, you know what, I can get out of bed this morning, then, um, you know, I feel like that's, that's been part of my purpose. Yeah. Just make my illness, not the main focus of my whole day. Let my mind do something that is positive for me because mm -hmm. it's not going away. It'll always be there. I can think about it whenever, you know, you can think about it whenever you want to. <laughs> but if I can have 30 minutes, an hour where I just can change the focus into some type of positive activity that I know helps myself, mm -hmm. helps my family, helps my future. Mm -hmm. That's a great gift mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, right. definitely. Well, I... So appreciate you coming on today and really being transparent and open with your story, with your journey, with your past, with your future. And I would love to have you back. And uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And today. I'm sorry I stuttered and stumbled. You did amazing. <laughs> you did amazing. I was, I was nervous and um, nervousness and pots do not mix. Yeah. Um <laughs> So I apologize if sometimes I was rambling, but I uh, really do appreciate having you guys having me on here. Um, I feel like it's a privilege um, if, like I said, if just one person um, can be helped in any way, whether it's just encouragement or financially, then, um, you know, that I've, I've done what I set out to do. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much. And go enjoy the rest of your day. And we appreciate you coming on today. Thank you. All right, everyone. Wow. What a way to kick off the week. Beautiful story. Beautiful interview. Um, if you're not fired up, excited, and just have a new outlook on a whole variety of different things in life, um, go rewatch this, please. This is a rewatch for sure. Also, please go follow Brittany on TikTok at Walk In Person in purpose with Brittany, but the with is just a W. So walk in purpose, W, Brittany, and Brittany is spelled B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y. Go find her on TikTok, give her a follow, comment on her videos that you saw her on Wake Up Legendary, give her some love. Um, and Dave is back tomorrow. We have another phenomenal guest as always. And please stay legendary. Peace.